And welcome back to another episode of Rumaki's Let's Play of Sid Meier's Civilization Beyond Earth. I am the Line, and as you can see, we're not in-game, we're on the almost in-game screen, because I think this thing is, I think these words are different. So let me read them. Uh, excerpts from Colony Archives, Personal Log, can see a tor Takor CD uh, 1979, not 12. The hearts of my people carry many wounds. I feared, feared they would carry this pain with them. And yet, as we prepare for to meet our future, I can see the hope in their eyes. Hope has ever been a great remedy. And it does my heart good to see my people so renewed. Our hope will light our path. Our faith will light, lead us to a peaceful existence. I know this speech wrote, yes. You know, I'm trying desperately to get a warrant. You see, that's pretty fast, the transition. All right, that guy has plenty of health. That's what I was worried about when I, uh, when, uh, when I was off camera looking through my videos. I was worried this guy had have health or not, because he's going through all this stuff. But anyway, let's continue. Oh, uh, do we know that? Yep, we need, we got another place to work. Oh, uh, those guys, uh, those guys that you just- has noticed something strange nearby. It could be a ruin, some sort of wreckage, or perhaps alien in nature. You should order your explorer to the site and excavate it to see if there is something worthwhile to be found. Right. Where that first? All right, it's the luxurious thing again. It's a good thing we're getting a ton of those so we can get our culture up. All right, now we're going to go do the excavation on that crashed satellite. Station discovered. You have discovered Fort Portia. Uh, you have this land. This is your island. Not for long. What is that? What is that? Sino mass. All right. Speaking of that, let's. Uh, What's ours is yours. Okay, you want the borders? Then. I should let them go to the full animation, but I'm not going to. I'm too lazy. Alright, let's see if we if these guys can actually uh, get more expedition modules by going back to base. Oh and um now before we continue, uh, I mean we have already continued, but anyway, so uh I, I do I do really appreciate you guys guys watching this series because it right now it's getting a Ten of views for me anyway, so uh, yeah, th thanks, thank you guys and gals and aliens. And it's actually, if you, if you sat around on my channel for ever since I finished up my last strategy game, and the only strategy games I've been playing in between were uh, 40k, uh, and you and now you're watching the series, I, I do really appreciate for you sticking around until you, until your favorite uh, gender uh, genre popped up again. So yeah, that, that really does mean a lot to me. All right, that's what this is. What goes around? Oh, I thought it was going to be more than that. What goes around? Quest nutrition. If we are to survive on this planet, we must be a consensus on our ecosystem. Or we must be conscious of our new ecosystem. Luckily, we learn from our past mistakes and have already instituted a constant recycling policy. The benefits of recycling are already known to us, but what are, but what, but what are the recycled goods? Well, quality goods, can be produced more quickly, therefore reaching more people. On the other hand, high quality goods are sturdier and can be, it can be used for more, dan more, more demanding work, uh, such as food production. In the long run, which is more beneficial? Nah, that's too, that's too highly produced. Because my workers are fine, they, they, go, they go fast enough. Quest complete. What, what, co quest complete. Completed what goes around. High quality goods can be used for to harvest crops. The more food we produce, the more people will grow, the stronger goods will lead to stronger citizens, yes. We need we need to expand further. We do not need the other thing like petroleum. Yes. Alright, so yeah, we definitely found the other side of the map. Actually, for a center map, this is kinda small. I was I was expecting it to be bigger. What is that what is that guy doing? This guy right here. Uh, 
Uh, we need <laughs> we need the workers up in here. Also, we got a forest unlocked. All right, yeah, I, th I thought so. It says it right there. Uh, it's, it said it. It said I could uh, refuel my expedition modules by going back to the city. Any city, apparently, but yeah. Done. I'll get over there. Farm. Got plenty of money right now. Okay, soldiers gotta move out first. Up oh, there we go. <laughs> it's time to go back out to sea. Uh, get your face over here. Take seven turns, but I don't care. Alright, soldiers can retreat. Alright. Oh, what can we do now? That will be beneficial. No colonists are beneficial right now. We need colonists bad because we need more cities. Okay, we don't need them bad. It'd probably be a smart idea to keep our population down until we can get a ton of uh, workers and other things so we can make are people happy uh, or that's what that used to be in the old civilization game time but that's now a uh, health all right you guys can just fortify now, actually I haven't told you guys yet but the first civilization I played was civilization revolution on the DS and it was an awesome game actually I'm, I'm not quite sure if I still have it I might still have it but I don't know uh, but yeah it's the it was a pretty awesome game for it being on the DS, and then I eventually got it on the 360, and I played it a ton with Iron Eye and his friends. And, uh, yeah, it, the Revolution was a pretty good game. If you still got a 360, and you're looking for something to play strategy-wise, uh, check out, uh, Zimmer's Revolution. It's, it's, it's pretty good. Um, I, I think it's at a little price right now, I'm not quite sure. It's been a long time since I ever checked it. Expedition complete. Your expedition team salvaged wreckage of a crash satellite of some kind. Never did. Because you've earned an affinity point in either purity, supremacy, or harmony, you can now choose an upgrade for your soldier unit. Once you choose an upgrade, all of your soldiers will instantly adopt this upgrade and change appearance. You can upgrade additional unit types as you earn higher levels of affinity. Yeah, we finally got a point into, a, into one of our affinity dress. All right, was I reading? Oh, yes. Uh, of some kind. It, Okay, let's just restart. Expedition completed. Your expedition team has salvaged a wreckage of a crashed satellite of some kind. It had a protected cache of information from its observations in orbit, which your expedition team relayed immediately to your scientists for analysis. They were able to do a preliminary research and they discovered a new technology called transgenics. Yes, so we're going to get that. Are you going to talk? You have research into technology, team genetic mapping. If we're going to rigor a organize, if you're going to if you're going to re jigger, if you're, if you're going to re jigger an, or, an organism's genotype, you should give it a courtesy of reading its manual first. Ah, uh, funny. Okay, let's get that one there. Affinity progress. How much joy can this new planet hold when we all think of it? If we, if when we all can think of everything we've left behind. Uh, level one purity unlocked. I don't know why. I'm, I don't know why these people aren't reading this. Oh, that's it. Weird. Aliens will not attack tiles with your four units. New upgrades are available to units. Yes. Alright, what's the new upgrade? Alright, anyway, let's, let's continue exploring. There's an alien whale of some kind. Alright, how are you doing? Oh, wait. Uh, I beat me to the punch. How dare you? Oh, we're almost done with the clinic, finally. Oh, great. Well, there it is. Excuse me, I have important information for you. 
Alright, so I'm getting the system now. Alright, so apparently from what I can see right now is when you upgrade your units, um, when, when you upgrade Infinity, you can choose what your units will look like and what they will become. Oh, what, oh okay, or just what they look like, because uh, they're all the same. Alright, instead of, you know, going up the Infinities and they doing it automatically, they, you, you actually get to choose what you're going to look like, which I find to be awesome. I do like the basic soldier, though. And yeah, look at this. Uh, as you can see, the purity people look exactly the same as the starter ones. And I mean, they don't look exactly the same. They still got they got better gear, but the colorization on their or the basically the same. While um, uh, while supremacy and uh, supremacy and another one are different, much different. Which makes sense. I select. That's pretty good. Or do I just want to kill everybody? Oh, that's a humongous gun. Wow. Is that totally necessary? I don't think it is, but it works, I suppose. Huh. Well, this is a kind of tough decision. Alright, in this game, how do I play this game? Do I play it? Do I, do I attack everything I see and hope to kill it before it kills me? Or do I just wait it out? And they can run away. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I think that would be more useful. Alright, we got our first upgrade into our purity tree. Well, not our first one. These are these will be our first one. Well, that seems awesome. All right, that's good if you're having a huge huge army. These guys are lone wolves. Our guys are are made for uh, camping, apparently. The campers. Alright, alright. We'll take the campers for this. Alright, let's take a look at our new soldiers. Hey guys, step out of the city for a second. That's all I wanted to do. I forgot right click work. I forgot both sides. I, I keep forgetting that in this game, both mouses make you move. I don't think it, can we move the camera? No, alright. Oh, let's just. Uh, I can find you guys can sit there. Those are big guns though. Alright, that's cool. Alright, what next? What next? Alright, we need level... That's very interesting. I still need to be level 9, unfortunately. Oh, that's is awesome. It's only level 4. Hmm. So basically, it's Spartans. That's what this is. It's just Spartans. For Spartans from Halo, basically power armor and augments. Uh, what do I want? I don't even, you don't even have those yet. Well, now let's not forget that. I ended up, not, not, let's not forget that the timer went off this time. Pulling plant. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. All farms reduce one plus more food. Plus the building itself produces three food and two production. That looks, that seems nice. What's over here anyway? Nah. Awesome. You know what? I do want. I do want. I want to go up here. Yeah, let's go up here. Level four impurity. That'll be doable. 
Okay, so they're not on every level, right? Mucker. So a titan. Or it could be a titan. Or, or it could be a mantis. Uh, let's go with mantis for this. Where's the Uber units? Units that just kill everybody and not care. Oh, hey, we haven't even checked down here first. Yeah, we haven't even been down here at all. I just realized. Hold on, chamber. Upper core. Ooh. Ooh. That's awesome. My spears. Ah, this is a tough one. You know what? I'm going to do the same thing I did last time and just end it here and pick back up in the next episode. And uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see which one I pick. So uh, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate you guys guys watching uh, this episode. It really means a lot to me. Well, ask me a lot to me if you would leave a comment or try to tell me what you want. if you have any suggestions to the series, like what I should build, where I should build it, or any tips on how to uh, play Simbar or Civilization Beyond Earth in general. Even if you know tips, do not have a much for people that you know no tip. And I guess, see you all in a second.